Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be in the world. I'm Sarah Jane. This is Thoughtful Nuggets and Pearls on Gift of Healing TV. Welcome. And the topic for this program is sound and silence. I'm going to start with the sound aspect. And yes, as much as I work with sound energy, that's not what we're talking about, although it could be. Sounds can hurt and sounds can heal. Sounds can make, sounds really can affect our energy, our attitude, the feelings that we have. And you've only got to think about music. Music is so powerful. Yeah, you can be energized by it. You can be relaxed. You can be annoyed. Depends on what you're listening to, the frame of mind you're in. I love new age music, especially pan pipes. But I know that some people totally don't like pan pipes. But it's what's right for the individual. What works for you in what you're doing at a point in time. So listening to music. Yeah, you know, sometimes when I'm doing the ironing, I'll have a CD on that I can sing to. But if I wish to relax for a meditation or for a Reiki session, then I will have different type of music on. And I go to sleep to music. Now, I certainly would never put punk rock on because that's not my type of music at all. That would be no good for anything I would choose to do personally. When you're driving, you wouldn't play relaxing, calming music. Something that would help keep you awake, <laughs> preferably behind the wheel. Music sound has a real effect on us and can touch us at a very deep level. I was only, I was listening to, um, a, 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 it was a two day workshop that Kyle Cease did. And I was listening to the last part and I sort of interrupted myself because knowing I was doing this program and earlier yesterday, while I was posting bits on Facebook, some somebody shared, again, it was Pan Pipes, the Sound of Silence, Simon and Garfunkel, written by Simon and Garfunkel. And, but it was just literally the instrumental. And I was trying to sing along and I couldn't remember the words. But of course, tonight's topic being sound and silence. And of course, that was the title of the song is The Sound of Silence. So I thought it went very well. And singing along to the words, I was remembering some of them, or sing along to the, the tune, I was remembering some of them, I must find out what they, these words are. So I looked up the lyrics and I listened then to Busted's version of it. Um, and I do love the Simon and Garfunkel, but I mean, it's, it's an amazing version that Busted have done as well. And I'm going to repeat those words, but I also came across another video. Um, and it was and I'm, I'm just a great believer the universe brings things to you at the appropriate time. And it was an X Factor audition. And they had commented it was the last one of the day. There were three on the panel. It was a UK X Factor. Simon Cowell, Cheryl Cole, although I'm not sure whether she was Cheryl Cole at the time. Anyway, Cheryl. I'm not sure who the other guy was. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sure I should know, but I don't. And he was the last audition of the day, which was probably just as well, because there was a comment under the video um, that Simon Cowell hadn't long lost his mother. And the passion and the energy, but the words of the song, there wasn't a single round of applause while he was singing. Normally, if somebody's really good, they're up and they're clapping. Everybody was totally entranced. Cheryl had tears rolling down her cheeks. She could hardly talk. They were all actually left almost speechless, which was obviously very good for him, but it didn't give him much feedback. But Simon couldn't, 
comment. He just about got the words out, you've got three yeses. And that was it. Um, and so he, and he was, it affected him so profoundly. That is what music can do. But listen to the words within music. Sound is very, very powerful. Hello, Sally. Thank you for joining me. Music therapy sessions. I run sound therapy. Uh, I work with vocal Reiki, a technique I've developed. Absolutely. Um, it is absolutely amazing um, how powerful sound is. And I would like to share, it's not the whole of the first verse, and it's not the very beginning of the first verse of the sound of silence. Because a vision softly creeping left, it, left its seeds while I was sleeping and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence. And so moving on from sound, how powerful silence is. Just sitting in silence. And I'm going back now to the fact that I have also been listening to this Kyle Cease series. He did eight videos out of a two day program that I bought and has been amazing. But one of the things he get, got people to do within those, the, 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 within the workshop, because he's helping people to connect with their heart, was to sit in silence, to sit quietly. All phones, everything off, not anything. Just sit, eyes closed, breathe, and sit quietly. I think the first time he did it, he did it for about a minute or two minutes. Then he told them they were doing it for five minutes and did it for about 10. <laughs> but when you sit in silence, sit quietly and help your mind to switch off. You can connect with your heart. It is really worth trying it. So as important as sound is, and it, as I said, it can have the different effects. Silence, knee space, heart connect space is also really important. And so it has been amazing, literally, because I was watching the last one of those yesterday, so I interrupted myself to look for the, the words of the sound of silence. But I stopped the video and I went back to listen to it. And I found myself, so I'm, I'm very good at trying to listen to things and do other things at the same time. But actually this whole workshop, um, oh, something gay, what was it? The limitation game, the limitation game, Kyle Cease. Now I've actually heard Kyle speak live. I was back in 2012 at the Messenger Summit in San Diego when I was also there as a messenger speaker. And he was he's a he's an American comedian, absolutely hilarious, but he's 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 changed what he does, but he is still so funny. Um he really is. And his humor really helps people um to to connect. Um and yeah, I, I don't know about you, but I find when you can find humor in things, when you can find some fun in what you're learning, you actually learn better. And I know I do, um, because when you're enjoying something, it, it speaks to you so much more than if you're just doing things by rail. So, um, so yes. And yes, yeah, Sally, great, because I, okay, I can see from your postcode that you live very close to me. But I also know this is going out. Um, worldwide and it will connect with people literally all over the world so I am sure that there are people that work with music with sound 
with gongs, with crystal bowls, with Tibetan bowls, with all sorts, drums. Whatever works for you, whatever speaks to you. When you're with the sound and with your silence, it is about what you feel. And what you feel comes from your heart. What you feel to me doesn't need words. <laughs> Having said that, um, I, I feel, no, I know, I channel soul language. And that is what I call it. And that is what I truly believe it to be. Other people may refer to it as light language. In some respects, it doesn't matter what you call it. But I do feel that these are words and they are not translatable um, because I have no idea what I'm saying because it is, it is a totally different language. But a language I feel will speak to your heart, will speak to your soul. And I know, have no doubt will this message, uh, it's going to be very brief. I have no, as I said, I have no idea what it is will be speaking on the same subject and hopefully will help you to connect with your heart and within with that silence within that brings the visions that are sitting there with you, in you, for you, to the fore. So if you would like to just relax and close your eyes and feel it's going to be very short we're going to keep it very short ko na tai ki hala ma chai no kopa koma ka hanai chimikinia al tanaka ho ho rom komo koma ka ha ha chiki la rana tai ti tiki hama to komo komo ti hai chamakai to moro al tinai na ko rom kopi pi hala Ye chiti ki hai, oko chete meke loro moko mai tai. Imiki kaha oro ko ye chie tete ana karana kila matua. Pokoro mekia kahara na kai chiti ni hai. Lo ye kai koyo ko chete kahai la chimo. Le te koyoya. Thank you. And I hope that you felt the energies of that in your heart and your soul, which will have totally understood that. And the sounds of music, the sounds of nature, the sounds that are around you and the silence that is there within you when you tap your, let yourself tap into it. I hope you will avail yourself of those for yourself. Thank you for joining me this week. Next week, the program I wasn't able to bring you in this month because of technical issues. <laughs> And hopefully they're now all resolved. Time to do nothing. Taking the time to do nothing often brings everything into perspective. I hope you will join me for next that next week. Do avail yourself of all the Thoughtful Nuggets and Pearls videos on the page on the Gift of Healing TV website. Do avail yourself of all the replays of our programmes meditations, exercises, enjoy anything that you may have missed, anything that you feel speaks to you, please do enjoy. And if you've got any questions, any comments, anything you would like to share, please share under the video, please go onto the website and share in the comments, or email me at giftofhealingtv at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you've got anything you wish us to share, let me know. It would be lovely to have you along. And thank you, Sally, for your comments. 
much appreciated. Lovely to know that people are joining. I can see that there are people are joining. I love it when people give me some feedback. Thank you to you all. Have a wonderful week. Love, peace and light. Namaste.